hair loss is a fact of life for many, uh, and some people just get on with it, and some people seek out treatment. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the hair loss known as alopecia and what types of, um, well, what, what kinds of things cause it? So, uh, in fact, alopecia is hair loss, that's what it means, uh, but there are a huge number of uh, different reasons for uh, hair loss. Um, and we broadly divide them into those that don't cause any scarring um, and uh, the non-scarring alopecias and those that do cause scarring, the scarring types of, uh, of alopecia. Um, and I see a, a, a healthy proportion of each. So with regards to the non-scarring uh, types, um, uh, well, uh, the androgenetic type or the male or female uh, pattern of hair loss, that's one uh, type. And I tend to see a lot of women with, uh, with that type. Um, and we know that hormones play into that. Um, now with, uh, with other types of non-scarring alopecia, you've got um, what we call alopecia areata, which is an autoimmune condition. And that tends to affect uh, mainly um, young uh, adults or children, but it can affect you at any point. And then that's when you lose patches of hair quite unexpectedly uh, because of your immune system playing up. Um, now there are um, uh, other types of non-scarring hair loss and it all depends on the history and an assessment to decide wh what uh, you might have. But then we see patients that have got uh, scarring uh, hair loss and that's um, a different kettle of fish altogether. Um, and they might uh, have other skin problems as well. They might have um, lupus for example or they might have a condition known as lichen planus. Um, uh, and they might get patches of hair loss with scarring um, affecting their scalp. Um, and that is more inf uh, inflammation uh, of, of a certain type uh, that's going on deep in the skin. Um, and, and some autoimmune factors there. So um, it's important that with um, hair loss that uh, is unexpected that you can't put into uh, a category or that you want more explanation on, um, that you see someone uh, that has an interest in, in hair loss uh, to get an assessment and, and possibly some, uh, some treatment for it. If you notice that you have any of the symptoms or the conditions that we've just discussed, we invite you to book a consultation with Ms. Penelope Pratsu, where she'll be able to assess your condition and give you a treatment plan.